Hello everyone and welcome back to Jacket Educational Channel. So this video is all about the important and frequently asked questions from the remote sensing and atmospheric phenomenon. Yes, these questions are very frequently asked and most expected in the entrances related to environmental science, environmental geography. So this will be very helpful in the examination. So make sure you are noting down all these questions along with the explanation. So without much delay, let's get started. So the first question is on your screen. So here the first question is a perfectly black body is what? So I'll wait for certain seconds, then I will reveal the answer. So here a black body which is called as perfectly black body option D will be correct. That means a black body is a body which is a diffuse emitter which absorbs all the radiation of every wavelength and emits power of every wavelength. So it absorbs all sorts of wavelength and it also emits or reflects back all sorts of wavelength. So this is very important phenomena and there is no such body known as perfectly black body. You should know that. Let's move to the second question. The second question is the largest energy transfer in the solar spectrum occurs in which of the following spectrum so all the spectrum wavelength they are very much associated with the remote sensing techniques and here the correct option will be option number c is the visible part of the spectrum is having the largest energy transfer in the solar spectrum so solar spectrum is having the electromagnetic radiation which is having ultraviolet ray visible light infrared so among all the largest energy transfer is seen in case of visible part of the spectrum and visible energy lies from 400 nanometer to 700 nanometer you should note down this is very very basics 400 nanometer to 700 nanometer is the range of visible light which is from violet to red you should know that Vibgyor is the visible length. Let's move to the third question. The third question is the interaction of the electromagnetic radiation produced with a specific wavelength to illuminate a target on the terrain for studying its scatter radiation is called as what kind of remote sensing? So this is very basic thing. And here the correct option will be option number B. It is telling about the active remote sensing. So what is this active remote sensing? So this is very easy that whenever we are sending any satellite. So let us assume this is the satellite. So the satellite is having its own energy. So this energy will come and reach on the earth surface and then it will reflect back and the sensor will sense the reflected energy light that is the wavelength and then it will tell us all the data details and data about that terrain so it is telling that here the electromagnetic radiation produced with a specific wavelength to illuminate that means the same sensor which is in the satellite or any body which is having the remote sensing technology is sending the specific wavelength to illuminate that means it is telling about active remote sensing but you should also know what is passive remote sensing passive remote sensing is a, the type of remote sensing in which we use external source for example here the sunlight helps to give its radiation and when the reflected rays from the sun goes and it is received on our sensor of the platforms which is having the satellites then it is called as passive remote sensing because here the satellite is not having its own radiation to illuminate it is taking the help of sunlight's radiation to take the image to take the data so that is called as passive remote sensing so i hope you are clear if you are having doubt you can ask me in the comment section time for the next question this is one of the very frequent last question. Yes, you would have seen in every environmental science and geology examination, this question is must. So the question is, this works, that means which works primarily on shorter wavelength radiation. And the options are MI scattering, Rayleigh scattering, non-selective scattering or infrared absorption. So think about the answer. And here, the correct option will be 
ऑप्शन नंबर बी रेल स्कैटरिंग विच इज ऑल्सो नोन एज लीनियर स्कैटरिंग वर्क ऑन शॉर्टर वेबलेंथ रेडिएशन सो यू शुड नो द बेसिक डिफरेंस बिटवीन रेल स्कैटरिंग एंड एम आई स्कैटरिंग बिकॉज क्वेश्चन कैन कम एंड इट इज ऑल्सो सीन दैट देर आर क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम बोथ दिस कंसेप्ट सो इन द रेले और लीनियर स्कैटरिंग द साइज ऑफ द स्कैटरिंग पार्टिकल इज स्मॉलर दैन द रेडिएशन वेब लेंथ सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल देर इज अ पार्टिकल इन आर एटमोसफियर एंड देर इज द वेब लेंथ कमिंग एंड हिटिंग दैट पार्टिकल सो हियर इट इज टेलिंग द स्कैटरिंग पार्टिकल्स दैट मीन्स दिस पार्टिकल्स आर स्मॉलर इन साइज दैन द वेब लेंथ विच इज कमिंग फ्रॉम द सन दैट इज कॉल्ड एज रेल स्कैटरिंग बट इन केस ऑफ एम आई स्कैटरिंग वट इज द कंडीशन द कंडीशन इज द साइज ऑफ द स्कैटरिंग पार्टिकल्स दैट मीन्स हियर फॉर एग्जाम्पल देर इज अ एयर मॉलिक्यूल और गैस मॉलिक्यूल हियर द साइज ऑफ द स्कैटरिंग पार्टिकल्स एंड द वेव लेंथ ऑफ द रेडिएशन आर सेम सो हियर द रेडिएशन विच इज अटैकिंग और विच इज पेनिट्रेटिंग और विच इज रिसीव्ड ऑन दिस पार्टिकल इज हैविंग द इक्वल वेव लेंथ साइज एज दैट ऑफ द पार्टिकल्स सो आई होप यू आर एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड इन एम आई स्कैटरिंग द पार्टिकल साइज विच इज स्कैटरिंग एंड द वेव लेंथ ऑफ रेडिएशन विच इज फॉलोइंग ऑन दैट दे आर ऑफ सेम लेंथ एंड हियर इन केस ऑफ द रेल स्कैटरिंग द साइज ऑफ द स्कैटरिंग पार्टिकल्स इज स्मॉलर दैन द रेडिएशन वेव लेंथ विच इज फॉलोइंग ऑन दैट टाइम फॉर द फिफ्थ क्वेश्चन the fifth question is the process by which solar energy interacts with the atmosphere is what and here the correct option will be option number d all of this yes solar energy coming from the sun it experiences scattering it experiences reflection it also experiences absorption from the gases for example greenhouse gases so all this process interacts from the solar energy that means all of this will be the correct option next question which we are learning from our school level the question is the sky is blue because what so don't say that world's ocean are reflecting the blue color and here the correct option will be option number d yes air molecules which are present in our atmosphere they scatter the blue light more readily than other colors of visible light yes so i will let you know that sunlight is coming from here let us assume and here sunlight is having the visible range also and when it is falling on the air molecules then the blue light is scattered more easily so here it is blue light but i am writing in red color and red light is scattered not easily not readily why because blue light is scattered far more than red light owing to the shorter wavelength of blue light so blue light blue color light is having the shorter wavelength but the red light is having the longer wavelength that's why shorter wavelengths are scattered more easily by the air molecules which are present in our atmosphere that's why the sky appears blue when the sunlight is falling on all the air molecules present in our atmosphere so i hope it was interesting and you learned something let's move to the next slide here the question is again from the mi scattering the question is mi scattering works or occurs or what are its characteristics so read all the options and i'll reveal the answer and here the correct option will be option number b yes this kind of scattering in our atmosphere takes place in the hazy days so where it is smog where it is hazy in our atmosphere in that case mi scattering occurs it does not occur best when there are few aerosol it occurs when there are many aerosol present in our atmosphere that helps for the mi scattering process and let's move on to the eighth question the eighth question is also asked in the 2019 or 2020 examination of net environmental science the question is according to wen's law which of the following statements are correct and here the correct option will be option number b yes you should note down this wien's law this wien's law according to that the sun's energy intensity peaks in the visible portion of the electromagnetic radiation so as you know electromagnetic radiation is having different spectrum from radio wave microwave ultraviolet but it is telling that sun's energy's intensity is with the peak is maximum in the visible portion so it is telling about the energy intensity time for the ninth question the question is what is meant by atmospheric window 
so remote sensing very basic thing you should know atmospheric window and here the correct option will be option number c yes atmospheric window is the window which is technically which allows certain wavelengths of the radiation to pass through the atmosphere so which radiation radiations coming from the sunlight so we'll know much more about this atmospheric window so the atmosphere absorb some of the emr that is electromagnetic radiation energy while allowing other wavelengths to pass through for example this is our atmosphere the wavelength from the electromagnetic radiation are falling on that from the sun and it will absorb some emr energy and it will allow some of the electromagnetic radiation energy so from where these electromagnetic radiation energy are allowed to pass through the atmosphere that place will be called as atmospheric window because from window everything comes in basically so from this window the electromagnetic radiation energy comes to our earth and here we use this window that is atmospheric window in remote sensing to peer into the atmosphere to search into the atmosphere to research on them from which we can obtain much information concerning about the weather and other phenomena time for the next question so here comes the question along with the beautiful picture also first let us read the question the question is on an average the earth absorbs roughly what percentage of the solar radiation so this question came in the ugc net environmental science examination in the year 2019 and here the correct option will be option number d 50 percent the earth absorbs the solar radiation so this solar energy budget is very very important i would request you to make this image make this picture in your notes it will be very very helpful and important so first of all let us assume 100 percentage of the sun's energy is coming and from them 20 percent are scattered and reflected by the cloud so it is how much 20 percent are scattered and reflected by the clouds the sun's energy and from them 6% are scattered from the atmosphere and then 19% are also absorbed by the atmosphere and clouds. So you should know atmosphere and clouds they absorb 19% and they scatter and reflect 20%. And then 51% of the solar energy is absorbed by the earth which is asked in the question. So 50% and 51% is the closer value, closest one and from the earth's surface also 4% of the sun's energy is reflected back. So if you add all this thing, it will make up to 100%. So now I would suggest you that you would have learned something new from here. And if you want to know more about the basics of remote sensing and GIS with stepwise explanation, a video is already there in our channel. You can check the link in the i button. And here you can also join our telegram group for the daily quizzes for your preparation. And I have also provided the PDF that was the surprise announcement that PDF of the basics of remote sensing and GIS and you can also follow us on Instagram for the current affairs and other important notes. So I hope you have enjoyed this. Like this video, share it with your friends. See you guys in our next video. Till then keep smiling.